Alright, this is a video. I'm doing a test ride with the Gub Plus 11 phone mount. It's connected to my bike. Now, at this moment, as you can see, that there's too much um, turbulence going on. So, this is not a thing that you could actually record with. As you can see, and if I hit a little bit hard, you see how the phone moves? I gotta put the phone back up. Now, let's say I get to this bus stop. Now, let me show you guys what this mount was about. So let me hold the phone, undo the screws, slide it out. There you go. This is the mount here. So there's a lot of turbulence. So it's not really good to really be recording with. Now if I cycle now, as you see, there's really no turbulence um, shaking through me like that. So this is how it was meant to, you want it to look. However, because the actual mount is rigid, to the actual bars, you're gonna get a lot of vibration. Now, I'm gonna put it back on again. So this mount, you don't wanna buy if you're looking to record. If you're looking to record, you don't wanna use this. You don't wanna use this. Even on like a smooth road, I can show you. Let me get the smooth road. Oh my god, there we go. See, even on a smooth road, it makes no difference. You're still gonna suffer that same thing. So, it's best not buy this if you're planning off recording. However, um, if somehow you've got some device that is designed to be recorded in a rough situation, and you can fit an amount like this then go ahead however I strongly, rec I strongly recommend you this is not a mount for phone video recording you do not want to record using this mount because what I'm doing I'm taking a risk with my cameras right now I'm using the S23 Ultra so I don't want anything to happen to any of the any of the five cameras so I'm taking it easy I'm riding gently and I've got my suspension nice and bouncy I don't want anything to um, really and truly affect the phone camera because the phone is 1400 pounds so I'm just doing a little test ride to show you that using a GUB 11 sorry a GUB plus 11 mount it's not really ideal for recording because it will definitely will destroy um, your camera especially if you're on an iPhone what's being reported on and also it's not stable enough to say this is how you want to be recording on so I wouldn't do it and it's not worthwhile so if I was you, just take a skip on this mount. So, once I upload it, I will see how it looks like. But, this is not something I would ever use again. I spent what? Was it £17 on it? Then delivery from, was it from Germany? That took up the price to like, probably like, what? £26? 27 pound or something like that so really and truly it's not something you really want to uh, be using like that of course um, little rain's coming down oh okay let me get over there now we're on the cycle track now we're going to cycle yes the phone's nice and secure it's not moving however you need a special mount that's designed to get rid of any of this um, turbulence that's happening. So, if I hit the floor, I start cycling. 
Here we go. This is what it looks like. So, this is to be expected of using the mount. Right, here we go. So that's it right there. So you can't really get much. Don't get me wrong, it's somehow it wouldn't fully shakes and stuff. It would have been perfect, but realistically, this is not something that you're gonna wanna be using. So for the time being, I'm gonna have to stick to recording by hand. And when the time come, I'll buy myself a GoPro 10 or GoPro 11. And I just take it from there. So, going for the um, God Plus 11, it's not really worth, it's not worth the purchase if you want it for phone recording. If you're doing like uh, deliveries and stuff, Google Maps, yeah. However, just try to be careful with too much turbulence. Too much turbulence will destroy your camera, so hopefully, this is not too much. My suspension is nice and soft. So I'm trying to go easy with this. So the test to make sure my camera works is to slow down. Yeah, there we go. Look, our camera's there. So let me see if I swap it around. Okay, that's me here. Me cycling. You can see. Look, I'm not holding my phone. But there's two of my hands here. I've got gloves on. See, let, me, let me take it off because uh, it's having a bit dark. There you go, look, two hands here. I'm not holding my phone. So you can see that I'm not holding the phone. There's nobody else with me. So this is how it is, yo. Letting you know. So we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna keep cycling. But Stronger recommend you. You don't want to use this. No good. So that's why I made sure I bought this one first before I paid £62 for the one from America. Yes, that one's brilliant. However, it's not going to deal with the issue that I'm having. So what's the difference between this mount and that mount? The only difference between the other mount that the phone is sent is in the middle and the mount won't move. The problem with this mount is the hinge that you get the part where if I hit too hard, the phone can go something like that, like that, like this, like this. It can go around like that. Do all type of craziness. The phone can even, the mount can even go like that. So, it's not the type of stuff that, oh, you want to be doing. So, stay away from that stuff, so. No good, man. No good. So this is this is what it is. So nine greats coming from this. So nine great. So you can expect something like this to happen. So at the end of the day. I just want to make sure that when you're making your purchase you will end up buying the wrong thing so if you're watching this video through to this moment then you're definitely taking this stuff seriously and also well appreciated if you're still watching at this point what well, is like 9 minutes 50 seconds in the video so I don't know man. 
Sometimes you don't know until you give it a go, so that's how it is. Sometimes you have to be at a loss sometimes. Oh, hey, let me rush over. Okay. See, even on this, no matter what I touch, British roads are never smooth, man. Never smooth. This is not Germany and other places where we've got smooth roads. So, these are the roads that you can expect. So, once I pick up the speed, right, let's go. Let's go. I'm in the sun. So that's it, yo. So I go, yo. I go, so. This is what's to be expected. There's not much you could do. Um, if I stop, camera's still fine. So, there's not much you can really do, so. The only way, the image, the only way is fine if you're riding very slowly. You just can't ride fast with it. Gotta ride slow with it. As long as you're riding slow, you're good to go. So it means you have to be riding slow like a snail. Like, yeah, of course you can still see it, but you gotta ride slow to take off most of the turbulence. Like this, for example. You can see that it's more stable. You still see the little tiny flicker, but it's not as bad though. Here we go. So this is how it looks like. Just like this, so. So, yeah. We're 13 minutes in, but this is what it looks like, so. This is on S23 Ultra, 4K60, um, high bit mode. Sorry, high bit width mode is on. So it's a much higher quantity. So even if you touch a road like this, this is what you're gonna expect from a mount like this. You see, look, my phone it dropped out. Like even if I try to pull the phone now, I think I'll get out. Like, even me pulling the phone, the phone don't wanna come out. So the phone's tight. Once you screw that thing down, it's not moving. It's just it's just too much um, turbulence. What's going on? I slow it down. The suspension shining its best to um to nullify all that um vicious ran attacks and receive them. So after this I just gonna make sure I test my cameras, make sure it work. This is just like a um one time only, one time only so you won't be catching me like doing this again as you can see i'm not holding the phone there's the right hand there's my left hand over there so you can see 
I'm not holding the phone, so. Cycling through. Even going slowly, you still see some of the um, humps. So, you've got that there. We'll come up to like the back of the Wolverham stall. Now right, let's turn left. Okay, we're turning left. A little bit of turbulence. Entering kind of smooth road. On the back streets of Wolverstow. Probably going at least around uh, maybe like between 8 and 10 miles an hour. This is on the Specialized Rock Hopper Sport. 2021 using the 2017 uh, RockShock Recons 100 mil boost. So I'm running on the Victoria Best Car tires 29 times 2.35s. Got them pumped up at 55 psi. If anyone wants that type of information. And the suspension is not locked out. Okay, that's just the rotor. There we go. Backward, kind of smooth. Okay, twenty minutes in. Moving forwards. So that's it really, that's the mount there. Okay, let me see, okay, this is a perfect place to cut it. So let me see, five, four, three, three. 
pot here. 